Hi guys, I'm Alan. Welcome back with another video. So today I just want to show you guys my new muck press that I received a few days ago. Okay, so I bought it, I opened it, I used it, and I put it right back in the box because I feel like there wasn't no need for it. And um, so I decided to make the video so I could share with you guys in case if you're in the market for a heat press, I mean a muck press, and um, so you could see the quality of it. I feel how it look and the build of it. So as you know, there's a lot of muck press in the market. You know, there's a lot. So you always try to buy one that worth your money because you don't want to buy a muck press that doesn't feel like a muck press that doesn't work like a muck press. Okay, so this is why I took my time in trying to share with you guys in case one of you guys in the market for a muck press. So I already know what's inside the box, but you guys don't. So this is why I want to take my time and um, open the box and just you guys can see it. And I'm also going to show you how you could make your first first mugs using your epson work for 7710 your epson work for 7720 with dye sublimations okay so um let's just go ahead and open the box so you guys can see how it looks and also i'm gonna show you how you could just make the first mug press and i'm um, like i said i had used it and i could show you this is what i was able to make you know using that mug press and i mean the quality of it it's it's actually nice you know so you guys could see so in that video i'm gonna show you how you could start making your own mugs using your mug press with your epson work for 77 your epson work for 77 20 so let's just go ahead and open the box and see what's inside of it okay so this is it okay instruction first you know it's always good it's always good to buy something that come with instructions so i'm not gonna sit there and um explain you guys the instruction and because everything is there in front of you i mean it's easy okay it's it's easy everything is there anything you need to know and the good thing about the hip rest they already set it up for you but um you're gonna have to make a, a couple changes because as you can guys see how to how to um program mug heat press i mean on a new machine we have set it to 360 f 30 second but if you're doing mugs you could not go lower than 160 170 minutes i mean i'm um, second so you gotta go higher than 30 second okay so um so this is what i need to show you guys and um so this mug press is three and one you got the mug press you got uh, the size um 11 11 ounces and 12 ounces here so i'm sure this is the 12 ounces and um when you go in the bottom and um we're gonna put it out okay so Okay, so this is it. Okay, so um, as you guys could see, let me just zoom it in. So maybe you guys could see how this thing is built. I mean, I, I love it. And I remember I had bought the combo one that come with the plate and um, um hot press, mug press, but I didn't like the quality of it, the how it built, but this one actually really nice. I mean, you know the, the the silicon press is really nice and this is the uh, the panel control the digital control things and you just turn it on everything like i said everything is already um set you just have to make make it work like you just gotta add more um, um second on there if you're doing mugs it's the third i mean the 20 um, the 30 second it's not gonna work you gotta go up to 160 170 and up so this is what you need to do now if you want to go like will you a, a 12 ounce mugs or you had to do you just gotta untie unscrew this plug here and then you know you untie it and then you just unscrew you might not even want to unscrew you just gotta take away that part here and then this is how you do and then you just put the 12 ounces in there and then make sure you guys like when you're doing your mugs always make sure everything 
press under the right temperature and everything reach out the same temperature. The, the mugs reach out the temperature. So sometimes if it doesn't reach out the temperature, I'm gonna show you guys what can, what can happen to you. See, let me show you those two mugs that I had made. So if you do, if you look like, the, if you look, take a look at those two, you could, I don't know if you see the difference on there. If you look you here, look in the bottom, the green, and there you see how the green just actually come out real nice it's pop out but when you look at the green here on the bottom it's kind of fade okay so you got to make sure your um your mug press reach out to the right temperature and when you put your um your mug press in there make sure it's sitting right where the temperature is actually reach out to it okay so um like i said i'm gonna go ahead and, and get started show you guys how it works i mean you don't have to do a lot because the instruction is right there okay everything you need to know is on that sheet of paper just in case if you want to go buy one so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go in the computer print out a few design i'm just gonna go with the same design because i like I, you know i like those mugs because i know if i don't want if i don't want them i could give it to somebody that just need them especially with the haitian flag on there i know somebody that need it you know so I'm just gonna go ahead, go in the computer, print out the same design, and then just print it out, cut it, and then just press it. Then I'm gonna show you guys what, how you could just go ahead and start it. So I'm gonna go in the computer, I'm gonna go ahead and plug my mug press, let it heat up so I could get it ready, and then, then I could just go ahead and press it, okay? All right, guys, so now I'm in the computer. I already have my design ready, ready to print. So I already set up my registration line and I already cut them. So I will not go to the trace process, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, if you guys wanna know how to trace your design, you could always check some of my videos. But um, on this video, I'm not gonna go to the trace process. As you guys can see here, those are the three designs. I'm not gonna go ahead and use all those three design. I'm just gonna just just choose one, but I also like trying to always make them and just let them sit there whenever I'm ready to mix whatever. I already have them um, set up here. And I don't wanna just load one sheet of paper on my printing and just print one design. So I'll be trying to use as much space that I, I could use. I could also add another one here, another design here, but I try to keep the size of the um, the design that could fit actually the mug so it's gonna be on the 11 ounces mugs that I already bought okay so this is it and if some some like program some of these um software they're gonna give you actually the mugs if you're using the sawgrass the sawgrass sg 400 and they're also giving you like on the creative I think some kind of like the creative software you could also they give you the size of the mugs and you could actually do the mug size. You don't have to like choosing, cut your design a different ways or um, a different size. They're giving you the size of the mug that you're gonna use so you don't have to, you know, missing out on your design that you cut. Okay, that's what I like about the Sawgrass, the um, creative software. They're giving you everything that you need to make. It's just the software is already there. But Cilio don't give you that options. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, load my paper on my um, Epson what, for 7720 dye sublimation and then point them out and just cut it. And then I could go on my muck press and just, and then doing it. So I'm gonna load my paper and then point them out. All right, so there you go. So this is the, this is the, you know text print R that I'm gonna go ahead and use and every time you are ready to print also make sure the white size face down on your printer okay time you before you print make sure you marry your images you flip your images as you guys can see here 
you know how the writing is so every time you print like you're ready to print using like white garment or make sure you always flip your design you could do it through your software or you could also do it through your printed software okay so this is it so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna load it on my cutting mat and then just load it on my cutting machine so i could cut the all the designing all right Alright guys, so this is the mugs that I'm gonna use. So you cannot just use any mugs. Your mugs gotta be coated. Okay, you gotta use a special mugs, not just any kind of mugs. So this is the mugs that I'm gonna use. And you also gotta have some, some heat tape here. So you could tape your design on the mug so the design doesn't come off when you put it. So. guys so there you go so my my mug press is on and is at 380 but the good thing about the mug press they already give you the extraction and then how they already set it up when you're putting your design on the mugs make sure you put like enough tape around it because every time when you're trying to put your mugs in sometimes the, the the press could actually try to you know take away your design and then when you take it, it's pressed and it's not there and you cannot put it like that. So let's try to put it like backwards and see how it's going to work out. There you go. I feel like something is pure. Okay. But everything is good when you just put it like backwards here. So this is the way it got to go. There you go. Right there. Okay. So when you're done, you put your mugs in there and then you just go ahead and and press and then you press enter and then there you go 